dog. With E3 2015 over, we take a look back at the best aspects of each of the conferences, going over our top picks and ultimately our favourite. In this episode of Best of E3 2015, we take a look at the EA press conference. I can never shake off how sometimes EA look like they are evil geniuses on stage. That being said though, they never fail to catch my eye, and this year was no different. So these are the top 5 games that piqued our interest this year. Before getting into the top 5, an honourable mention should be given to Mirror's Edge Catalyst, but despite the game looking good, I have little faith in first person platforming as a game. Number 5, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2. EA gave us quite a long demo for the sequel to Garden Warfare. With a fair amount of new classes and new modes, Plants vs Zombies Garden Warfare 2 was a colourful and entertaining experience to watch. They also said that there would be free content updates and character transfers from the first Garden Warfare game. EA then went on to reveal that the game will be releasing Spring 2016 for PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. Number 4, Need for Speed. A reboot of the Need for Speed series boasted live actors seamlessly combined with gorgeous graphics. While I am not the biggest racing fan, watching Need for Speed in action made me want to play this one. It was one of the highlights of the show for me in terms of art design. It also had a ton of customization options, making it all the more appealing. Unfortunately, there was no release date mentioned for the game. Number 3, Unravel. A very cute new title. Unravel is a 2D planed platformer that has you playing as a little fellow who is made of twine. He is constantly unraveling as you move through the levels. There is also an emphasis on using the unraveled twine to access points throughout the game. You can also run out of twine, meaning that there may be some strategy to progressing through the levels. Unfortunately there was no release date, but it will be coming to PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC. Number 2, Star Wars Battlefront. When Battlefront for this generation was announced, I was very excited. However, with recent practices from DICE and EA with Battlefield, I was concerned. However, almost all my fears were set aside when EA revealed gameplay of the new Battlefront game. The game looks amazing, showing off on foot, vehicle, ability and Jedi gameplay. The in-game graphics were really high quality and the amount shown off really got me back on the hype train for Star Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront has a release date of November the 17th in North America, although I believe it's a few days later in the rest of the world. It's going to be available for PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One. And number one, Mass Effect Andromeda. Call me a bit biased, but I couldn't help get excited for Mass Effect Andromeda's trailer. While we only got a trailer and no gameplay, it did give us hints at what the new game may entail. Andromeda is the next galaxy to the Milky Way, and I suspect this will be our playground and setting for the new game. They also showed us both a male and female armor clad N7 character, along with the Mako tank, or something very similar. All of this did get me hyped for the next Mass Effect, but it's just a shame that it won't be released until the holidays of 2016 at the earliest. Anyway, do you agree with this list? What were your favourite aspects of the EA press conference? Please leave a comment below and let us know. And until next time, I've been Dartblade bringing you the best of E3 2015 from EA. Hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching, subscribe and like for more.